The following is a presentation of Play Fly Sports Properties and Michigan State Sports Properties. Good evening. It is Thursday, May 18th, 2023. I'm your host, Jason Strayhorn, along with my co-host, Otis Wiley, and J.U. Choo Choo Culcrit, and this is Sparta MSU. Thank you for watching the show tonight. Tune it in. Don't forget to click the like and the subscribe button. It helps us a whole lot. It doesn't cost you a thing. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms. This is how to do that. Thanks for tuning in to This is Sparta MSU. Interested in hearing more from us? Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even TikTok. Click on the link in the bio to head to our link tree for more information. Help us grow our following by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Tell your friends and family to do the same. Have an idea for a future episode? Let us know in the comment section below. And now, back to the show. Welcome back. We got a jam-packed show, fellas. You know, Otis was on assignment on Tuesday. He's back. We got the whole gang back together again, don't we, fellas? Oh, yeah. We back together again. <laughs> we back, and we back. <laughs> you know, we back, too. Our boy Tom Story, he he was on vacation in Australia. There he is. But he was tuned in, though, so I don't think he's – you say back. You say back in the States. Numbers overseas. He wasn't tuned in. He missed a few episodes. He, he admitted. Did? Oh. He missed a – he, uh, he was a day. He was a day ahead. So, uh, <laughs> how's that water? He was, he was living in tomorrow. How's that water? How's that water? How's it doing? How's it treating you? What water? What? Oh, I'm talking <laughs> what water? <laughs> yeah, look, product what water? Oh my god! Mm. Product mm. drop. Man, mm. I I haven't seen a case yet, man. That boy, man. Tom, <laughs> come on, Tom. Listen, the backdoor promo, it never fails with Choo Choo. I'm telling you, listen, guys, I, we got a jam-packed show. We got a special guest, a very special guest, Spartan Dog, is coming on the show in a minute. But, like, guys, we talk about what's happening in Spartan News. We can't forget our boys, man, that just signed Ben Van Sumeren. Signs with the Eagles. Makes it official. Hey, you Makes know, when they official. landed, yeah, when you landed, Jay, what do you think the coaches are? Stout, what would you think? Stout and the coach is like, oh, automatic. Like, we got to steal. <laughs> like, yeah, immediately. Exactly. He knows, <laughs> you know, he's a Spartan. He knows he's tough. He can play ball. He's fundamentally sound. Uh, you know, that's a great landing spot for Ben there with the way that the Eagles play, the, the way the defense plays. I think he's going to be a kid. Yeah, we said this, you know, even before the draft. He's going to be a kid that's going to be, you know, within a blink of an eye, you're going to be, he's in there six years already. Um, you know, he's, he's one of those kids that's going to be showing up on special teams, working his way into the rotation. So, uh, you know, Coach Seriani, Coach Stoutland, they got a good one in Ben. Congratulations to him. Man, that whole stat, that defensive draft, man, like in their draft class, <laughs> mm -hmm. they, like, they loaded up on defense, man. And, uh, you know, he's going to be able to learn from uh, some greats, man, and, you know, Brandon Graham, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him, man, getting busy and, uh, you know, obviously reporting some stuff from rookie mini camp. Um, hey, we got to get them on. Somebody's got to get to. Oh, the yeah. DMs and we got to we're gonna have to get the call. Darian Harris is going to give him a call directly. We'll get them on. We talk talk some on. Yeah, get Ben on. Because it's clear, you know, the boys over in Philly, they like dogs. They like Spartan dogs and they love them boys in Georgia. Because I think they drafted the entire defense from Georgia. <laughs> <Sure did. laughs> it's crazy. Right. You know, Stoutland, you know, he's holding it together on the offensive side. But, man, they got some dogs on defense. They really do. 
guys, with a heavy heart, you know, we've got to talk about this. We've got to address the elephant in the room. With a heavy heart. Deion <laughs> Coleman has chosen to move on to Florida State. <sighs> what song comes to mind when you, you see, like, it's so hard to say <laughs> goodbye? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, it hurts, but, you know. A new chapter, a fresh start. You got to say, hey, we support you, my dog. Uh, you know, it does hurt with you to be in the green and white. But, you know, Tallahassee, you got a real one, a good one. And uh, we're just praying for a success that uh, we'll see him uh, on the flashing lights and maybe in the Detroit NFL draft, baby. He'll come back home for that one. So, you know, one, we're going to be we're going to be supporting, man, from afar, man. But always a dog, obviously. But everything gave me is like, mm, man, just – what what could we have done? What else? It's like what else? Uh, but it is, man. Yeah. Keon, do do your thing, man. Go ahead, get, get go get buck. I said get buckets, but go get them t- tutties, man. Get ready for uh, the league, brother. So we'll be watching. Yeah, you know, uh, Otis Otis said it best. Uh, you know, when you have someone that comes in, you know, with so much hype, so much, you know, on the Sports Illustrated cover, um, you know, with the half football jersey, half basketball jersey, you know, that's someone that, you know, you take, you embrace, you know, as a Spartan. And uh, he always will be embraced as that. Um, but we have to realize this is, this is the new NCAA. You know, guys are going to make – business decisions, what's best for their future. Um, So all we can do as Spartans now is hope for the best, you know, for, for Keon, hope for the best for everyone that transfers out. You know, you want them to be, to find success wherever that they go, because we all play this game. And at the end of the day, we all want everybody that played this game to find success and be successful. So you hope for the best for them. You hope that they, it's the right choice, you know, they made, you know, in, in their decision to, to go away. So um, we're going to be, you know, Spartan nation is going to be, you know, cheering him on um, when they're, when he's playing at uh, Florida state, when he's, he's a Seminole now, he's a Noel, you know, he's going from a different kind of chop to another kind of chop. <laughs> you know? yeah, right. Yeah, so, I think yeah, keeping it real, like, hey, if you got haterade in your veins, man, and you you you're hating on Keon making this decision, like, wh- what are you doing with your life? Because clearly, he had to make he had to make this big boy decision. Like, this is something that he had to do, and you know, for him to stand ten toes down on it and say, you know what, you know, I gotta I gotta go go do something 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 different. Um, um, and also a different situation. We talked about this that, you know. We looked at the quarterback room and then we look at our room. You know, you got a guy who we talked about stray is what the rank number 30 quarterback. Yeah, quarterback pro football in the nation. Focus has a travel football. Yeah. Yeah. The third best uh, returning quarterback in the nation. Um, and yeah. So you look at that and knowing that you got another stud receiver on the opposite end, um, but then he's able to not have to be double teamed. They're going to, they're going to be a problem on that offensive threat from a standpoint. So, Obviously, they probably put the Taj Mahal where he fits in in that puzzle in the offense, and it is what it is. You know, it's, I still it's, think he could. He was, he was still going to eat with with our guy number fourteen. At, absolutely, at, absolutely. Still gonna eat. The thing that the thing that really you know, like other than you know losing Keon, it's a great athlete, a great kid, a great Spartan ambassador. Something that I'm so mad, I'm mad about now. Um, and I thought this was going to be the year that I got to taste that gumbo. But uh, mm, hey. <laughs> Hey, oh, no, 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 yeah, no. She's, she is. Yeah, no, 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 she, no, no, I, look. No, we got no, Raven. Hey, Raven she is. The, she uses the she, comments. She, yep. It's all good. No she, love she's, a Spartan, she's a Spartan for life, man. So we're going to have a summer cookouts. Go ahead. Come on up and, you know, we'll get it right. They did talk about our, like, we have to get the right sausage to go inside of it because it said, yeah, it's, yeah. it's bad up here. So I was like, we got to fix you gotta we ship gotta it. We gotta ship it. We gotta get it. And I want, I want some crab in there too. Yeah, oh yeah. We gotta have a real deal now. You gonna mess up the whole thing, way. gumbo? It's like because you want some crab. <laughs> That's how you call the gumbo. A good have gumbo a, with a little, crab little, in there. Little thing of crab. But, hey, listen. Hey, listen. Has Keon made a, a big boy decision? As you guys have already said, it great. Um, he did this on <laughs> his own. Back at I mean, some look, point, this, too. this isn't a decision he was able to do. He'll be back at some point, too. There it is right there. 
just like just like, that, just like the other Keon, he still got time. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. That is facts. Which I feel like, hey, great transition too. Great transition. <laughs> Beautiful. That brings us to the other Keon who was from TCU. If you remember that he committed to Michigan State. Oh, he changed his mind, ladies and gentlemen. Now he's going over to Arkansas prior to coming to MSU. So we lost a uh, a commitment before he actually stepped foot in East Lansing. Hey, Chu, what 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 a coach? You know, say when we went to Maryland, what would he say? I don't, I don't fight not I don't fight not fight and not with the enemy. Like, bro, you a dog? What you talking about? <laughs> I remember Coach Barnett was hot boy. Wasn't hot. It? Just hot. he just stood on the goal line, and stared at him. Like, <laughs> He said, I'm just going to stare at him the whole time. Let him know I'm here. Let him feel me. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's bring, great. In, listen, bring in people into the locker room, into the field. That's <laughs> what it really goes on right there. So let's talk about this commitment. Like, was it a false alarm or was he truly committed? Like, we don't know, right? I mean, we got to f- check our sources, but was he? Was it a false alarm where – he was just pot trying to use it as clout to then get this better offer. Like we don't know, but Arkansas, you know, Arkansas, yeah, like Arkansas, because Arkansas, that's a different look. They be, they be spending now. They be spending down there. That's what I'm saying. They be spending. <laughs> that's Walmart money. That's Wally Mart money. You know, Benton that was just there. He just left. oh yeah, the recruiting. Yeah, yeah he man. was in Michigan State and the recruiting world. He got the last. You know, last year he got the number one safety out of Michigan. Uh, go down to Arkansas. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, they got some guys down there. Yeah, I think well. he, he, he used Michigan State as leverage to get something different. Um, that's that's what I feel about that. Um, he never stepped foot on campus. He didn't don the green and white. In my eyes, he is not going to be a Spartan dog. <laughs> In my eyes, of course, right? He ain't, yeah, he's not. He's not. Anywho. He's not a Spartan dog. I, I, but you know, for a moment, he was considered coming. He didn't come. So we just had to share that news. Goodbye. That Keon <laughs> Goodbye. and then obviously the other Keon who is a dog. Hey, you know what? Do you think because Chuck Chuck decided to come back, like he saw that was open? Like, do you think there was a, a yeah. situation there? Because yeah. you think about it, like Chuck did decide to come back, and then we obviously got him, but he already already decided to come back. But you think that that was an element of like, I mean, Chuck being healthy and this is no spot, and you got one other spot. No, okay, no, no, <laughs> cool, no. All right, on to the, on to the next one. You're trying to say he ran off? He ran him off. Chuck ran him off. That's okay. I, I, I'll take that. Maybe he did. I think maybe I'll take, Chuck. I'll take Chuck any day, bro. You said I take Chuck any yeah. day. Yeah, he, 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 hey, listen, that the Keon Stewart wasn't physical enough for, for Michigan State. We're gonna move on. Move on. Jalen Sammy from Colorado has committed. To Michigan State defensive tackle, 6'6, 310 pounds. Oh my God. 6'6, <laughs> six, six, 310. But it's, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything because I, I feel like he was part of the that mass exodus from Prime, right? Like, he, was he was he asked to leave or was this a decision he hit the portal? Because I feel like there's a difference. Because, like, if that's you, a good question, we don't, yeah, I don't know the facts yeah. with him. We got we to gotta do some digging to find out for we sure because there were so many players that, that were, you know, there was like 30 or 40 that were forced and then another 15 to 20 to left on top of that because, you know, they're connected in some way. But Coach Tucker, Tucker. Coach Tucker obviously recruited him in Colorado and sees something that, you know, you're talking about 6'6", six, 3'10", six, like, oh, yeah. that's a massive force. I mean, Choo Choo, can you, I mean, you imagine a guy coming to 6'6", six, 3'10", six, at the D-Tackle? No, no. The last time we the last time we had someone like that at that D tackle position that's that and has that um as this I, say feeling I already knows. Oosh, I already know. Hello, yeah. oosh, the little oos was Domata Peiko, um, you know, at that position there. So hopefully if he's any remnants or anything like like Peiko was, you know, we'll be happy. Peiko. Hey, yeah, I think hey. Peko's about to enter his 39th year in the NFL. I mean, Peko's been playing so long, man. Peko's retired. I, mean, yeah. I, I know he's retired, but, you know, how many years did he get in? Bro, he did play was... like 80 years. Well, his <laughs> last year was 05. So it was – it was he it was the senior year was 05, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. senior year was 05. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and I just, remember – just left. My first game when I was with the – no, second game, we played uh, Cincinnati when I was with the Bills. And it was a third 
third and one and I'm in there and I, you know, get the first down and I'm on the ground and I just hear just he, 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 giggling and like poking at me. I was like, who the hell is this? and look up it's Peiko, you know, just like, hey, what's up, Jay? You and you know, he's laughing, you know, how Peiko is. So that was really cool, you know, that coming full circle from practice to going against each other. I'm a hey. Favorite, favorite memory remember. was that running back, that fumble recovery in Michigan. From Michigan. That's the, the one of the loudest Spartan stadium has ever been. Cliff Dukes coming with the sack. Uh, uh, Chad Henning, I believe it was, fumbled it and, and Paco yeah. rumbled down. But I remember, yeah, we got a chance to, like, guide him in there running. And the last <laughs> guy was there. Who was it? Your boy, Mike Hart, boy. We was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, I, I think it might have been loud when Ducky caught that ball too in two thousand and uh, was that one? one. I don't know. Right, maybe it was kind of loud then too. I know that the whole the whole nation was loud that night. Guys, moving on. Like when you look at the Michigan Panthers, we're going to talk about Michigan Panthers. We got another Spartan dog who was on the team, and that's Brian Lewerke, quarterback, just signed. Two two. Give us your analysis. Wait, Chuchu, before you start, why would I, they select this photo? Picture, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, just straight up, like, the disrespect, y'all. Like, are you kidding me? There's other pictures you can use, dog. Like, that doesn't even give you confidence. That's though. the one that got him hurt. <laughs> Man, Jesus. Like, welcome back to Michigan. It's like, somebody, somebody has affiliation. I'm sorry. I mean, we gotta ask our, our guest when he comes on. This, this social media, man. I think they got. I think they alums or something. <laughs> they so, are not. Ahead, they, I would say they are not alums of there. Okay. Uh, but you know, it's it's a you know, it's it's really good that uh, uh, Brian's back with the Panthers. That he's gonna get. He's gonna give him a shot in the arm for that. Uh, the Panthers team. Uh, he's gonna be backing up our quarterback Josh Love. Um, the San Diego State product. Uh, uh, Josh is, you know, good good player, has command of that offense there. Um, Carson Strong, he got hurt. Um, I think Carson was that, like, spark plug to the offense when he came in. He, he was kind of that guy that um, almost similar to what we what we had at Michigan State with Peyton Thorne and uh, Noah Kim. Carson was that, you know, that spark plug there, you know, come and energize the team. His style of play was a little different than Josh Love. And I think, um, you know, Brian Lewerke he's going to, you know, have some – provide good depth to that, uh, that Panther offense, especially now at the pivotal midway point of the season where they're jockeying for that second spot for that playoff spot in the USFL championship. Where is the USF, USFL championship at? Um, this year, I believe it's it's still in uh, Birmingham. Is it okay? Yeah, Birmingham. I put you on the spot. I put you on the spot. It should be. It should be in Detroit. It should be in Detroit. Man, listen, this isn't scripted. You know, this is what it is. That's all right. Yeah, it should. It should no, be in Detroit because Detroit has the hottest crowd in the USFL. These these the the, the um, Michigan Panther fans. You know, they average, you know, 20,000, 15,000, 8,000, 10,000 coming out every single. And Detroit's throwing a lot of money in that. They have Big E, you know, who's emceeing every home game for that. The, the Pyros, the, you know, it's, it's something yeah. special to, to be down there at Ford Field for it. So we got to get that product ready. We're going to talk to our special guest today about that experience and what it's like as a player there. But before we do that, guys, you know, we, we, we've talked about the transfer portal and all that stuff. So, you know, we lost, we lost starting quarterback and, and our you know, number one receiver returning for next year in the portal. But, guys, we have to turn the page, right? You got guys over in the VA right now, Noah Kim. VA! Look, look at, look, let's look what's going on out there in Virginia. We got, we got, listen, look, there's a couple dogs there with Noah. Eaton. You got Fitz, you got uh, Monterey, you got uh, Mosley. And and then you got uh you know QB one now number fourteen. See this this right here is this is a pro move. This is what you know guys. At, that's a next level move. You know having you know opening your home to guys coming down. Hey, come down. We have some time off. Let's let's get a workout in. Let's get this chemistry together. Let's build this because at the end of the day now, who's here's who we're gonna play with. September first, Central Michigan is gonna come to town. And the guys that are in green and white are going to go out there and play. So let's build this chemistry. Let's get this right. As Otis would say, let's get it right, get it tight, and mm. uh, let's get after it. And that's a pro move on the part of Noah Kim there, having those guys down there. Uh, you know, look at that great work out there. And we know uh, 
Mr. Kim is, is money on the grill. And Pete, let's play this little video here. Ooh. You hear that sizzle? You hear, was, the sizzle yeah. <laughs> you hear that sizzle? <laughs> hey, can we get some chicken wings in the hey, comments? It was like it was like the it was like the the chest that's rusted on the a fire right there. Like you got the virtual fireplace, <laughs> right? <laughs> just you know what we, just... we need to go to VA to Virginia and do a live show from the Kim's backyard where it was all that barbecue and like that. Going up. Yeah, we Absolutely. gotta be in there. Hey, that jotisserie is, is a beast, man. So, Mr. Kim, hey. Was that a green egg? Oh, uh, That was a green egg, or it could be a, a we just call it a Komodo Joe. It, but I, it looked like it was a green egg. I saw the lining, but I got a green egg, Mr. Kim. So go ahead, come to the backyard patio. <laughs> I got it all for you. I got everything. And then we have, you'll see basically Tutu eat his uh, chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah. Choo choo in the, in, the, in the wing eating contest, man. I I, I challenge anybody in the planet to. Hey, I take choo choo. I'm, I'm taking choo. I'm from Buffalo. We know how to eat wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, y'all know what's up, man. Hey, so big, big time promo by Noah Kim bringing guys up. The last time I seen that was a few years back. I saw you know guys, the Naperville boys. Peyton Thorne had Jaden Reed out there with a. Some little guy from uh, Wake Forest that nobody really knew much about. They were out there working out together in Naperville, Illinois, where Peyton and Jaden are from. Had a pretty good season after that, that year. I, I that recall summer. JU kind of, you know, giving them some nuggets on like, hey, man, you're going to have to take lead, be proactive. You know, take oh, lead, oh what's that? JU has something to do with this? I, I feel like I'm surprised he didn't do a one-up because I've heard him say this. I've heard I him say this. This, like he's this, been... is no, this is Noah taking the lead and being a leader himself. This has nothing to do with me, anybody. This is Noah taking the taking the 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 reins and saying we're gonna go with who we got. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play football. We're gonna be good. We're gonna put a product out there that people will be proud of. And uh, you know that that's this guy taking that step. Hate Trey, on that. that is the first time this man did not take the one up though, because I know <laughs> first time I'm saving, I'm saving it for a couple things down here. Oh, I got okay. you. Okay. They are, listen, got five one seven day. Let's talk about that. Five one seven day. Play the video, guys. Beautiful man. <laughs> man, I felt like I was on a drone, you know, just landing at the graduate. Rooftop, why don't you get a voiceover bar. like you know the pure Michigan voiceover or something like on the banks of the Red Cedar? <laughs> like, like you know, what I'm saying like I felt like we're missing an element. James Earl Jones on there. James Earl. Right. Right. Thank you, thank you. There's, you know, there's a school that's known to all. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. Get Morgan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, that was a great day. That was a great video. You look at 517 Day. There was a lot of bad news on 517 Day, but listen, guys, we still persevere. Spartans will Spartans will continue. You know, so beautiful video. Happy 517 Day a few days ago. Let's talk a little bit about the EA Sports. I know Chuchu wants to talk about a little EA Sports. We're in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. Like, man, we've been waiting on this, man. First of all, I've I heard this. It was like a couple years ago when I was with IMG or Learfield and CLC had announced kind of internally that it will be back. Uh, and you already know, man, there was a lot of fights and disagreements in college playing this game, man. Like this oh, got yeah. real intense. Like, you know, yeah. people, like just to be able to say, I know the game is going to be elevated to where it's going to compete. And, you know, Madden, Madden has been great every year, every year, but I feel like now, all this craziness and the augmentation and you know virtually like the 3D for what 4K 5K now it's gonna be crazy man and uh I'm waiting on Choo Choo's news because you know 
I, I, I regret not submitting my, uh, what was it, my claim to get my money. That was and your my NIL. Money, my your NIL. NIL. I regret because I was like, there's no way they're going to win that. And they got to pay every student athlete that was on that game in the past. And lo and behold, it passes. And I start getting news from people that I'm like, ain't no way. You got three grand. I'm like, ain't no way. Yeah. So what, what Otis is talking about, everyone listening there. Um, so back when the game was out and they put a stop to it because players were upset because they were they weren't profiting off you know, their name, image, and likeness being in the game. Um, so people are upset. And then that's why they pulled the game. And a crew of people from, I believe it was Northwestern maybe, got together, um, sued EA Sports. And then so there was a class action suit. And they just sent out this paper saying, hey, fill this survey out and the years that you played um, and everything like that. So, you know, you just got to think. Just a thinkless, thoughtless email. You just go, do, 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 do. J.U. Colcrick, Michigan State, running back, this year to this year, boom, submit. Otis didn't fill it out. It was more than that. You talking about it was an email. Nah, it was that was that. it. That nah, was it. That. it was that was that. it. You can't just get paid off. Anybody can come out the street. It, it was much harder for me because we had to document that, you know, <laughs> they didn't have television, color TV, any of that kind of thing. That was Tech it. Mobile. Tech Tech Mobile. Mobile. Even though we had, they, they had us on the game. But the, we, the last one. The last one. hard to prove. The last one that came out, that 08. Yes, yeah, sure. uh, but you had talk to it. Look who oh, was on the cover. Look who was on the cover of that game. Oh, well, you got the same calves too. Same calves. <laughs> yeah. JU's on the uh, the back cover here. For hey, but you know it's terrible though. They ended. They ended with who on the front cover though. That a boy from down the road wasn't it, Desmond? Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so and then shoelace was on one of them, right? Shoelace, the yeah, was on one. yeah, so yeah. but hey, your boy got a few extra shuckles, a few extra nickels to rub together for being on the back cover there. Not much, though. <laughs> oh, <just laughs> he, he, he spent that all at Rick's, just <laughs> all don't worry about it. He spent that Rick's. I've been <laughs> playing with Marlon <laughs> ever since Marlon this man. Hey, look. So, so players can now opt in. That's what the rule. Is. That's what they're saying. So, when the game comes back, players will be able to opt in or out of the game itself. And the game is supposed to be released in 2024. A lot of people don't believe that, but that's what they say. That'll so be you the next year in, when there's a new in. SEC, a new Big Ten, expanded Big Ten. So that'll be a cool thing, guys. So you're opting in to get paid or to use your likeness to not get paid? Like what's the opt it's in for? I think that use your likeness right. and not get paid. Right. Yeah. They're yeah. saying you um, you gave your permission. So like everybody's yes. opting in. I don't know if you're gonna opt in now. This it's, it's, it's a business now, Stray. They might say, I, I'll be good, I'll be on Madden. You get paid for Madden. <laughs> <laughs> you get paid more, drive the price up. Right. Well, look, I'm looking at I'm looking at bigger picture. Bigger picture. We're talking about esports. That part of the game now where they you can compete with varsity esports teams. Uh, another game that people can compete from the nation. Uh, you know, a big picture of can you imagine coming to Spartan Stadium Fan Fest and having an esports truck and you have a full out tournament of you know college football, right? Like it could be great to have that matchup leaning up to like the last home game, but I'm ready for it. I, I legit have to blow the dust off my PS4. Uh, I actually need to get a PS5. I'm out here outdated already. They never knew I'll retire that thing, but yeah, I'm gonna have to get that. I never got past uh, what the PS3. Oh, three. Yeah, that's what because we got it at the bowl game. Uh, no, I did. That's why I got my PS3. It was a bowl game. Yeah, so I never got. I never got it upgraded past that. I haven't played video games since then. <laughs> man, look, y'all, y'all talking that that old advanced stuff, man. I, I'm talking about Sega Genesis, man. That's all I got. Man, look, I still Sega have my Sega. Now. Come on, I'm now. a Super Nintendo guy. And then the 64. Yeah. So 64. Yeah. Nintendo 64, that, that's it. Atari, y'all don't remember Atari. Y'all can't relate. I remember Dreamcast, though. You remember that? They get Dreamcast with the blue controllers playing uh, uh, Golden Eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Golden Eye. Got, yeah. yeah Otis, 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 man, you, you yes, did something beautiful, up, man, this up. last week. We got to talk about that, the EXP tour. Talk about that. 
you know, it's it's a we thing, right? Like I did not, I came into it. It was already being uh, organized from former Spartan Dogs, Caleb Thornhill. You had Ashton Henderson. You had Darian Harris. You had Angela Monte, Kate Souter, Lexi Harley. We had a bunch of people come come together to kind of get this created. Um, the one thing was about we wanted to bring student athletes to Detroit, and we want to bring them to expose themselves to something outside of East Lansing. Um, and so we basically hit up all of our partners that we know are in that Southeast Detroit area. And then we kind of get a, a mixture of corporate business, but then also pro sport. So, you know, if you want to get into corporate America, this is an option. Um, or if you want to go pro sports, we got a tour of Tiger Stadium or Comerica Park. And we went over to Ford Field. We went to the Little Seas or uh, Pistons facility, which is beautiful, by the way, uh, right there up next to Wayne State's campus, Detroit. Is back, man. Like, I don't think people understand. Like, when you talk trash about Detroit, that means you haven't stepped foot in it. I remember straight right. telling me that people overseas was buying property when you were living here. I remember you said people were buying up property because they saw that the trajectory of the boom happening. Yes. Um, one of the best parts about this tour was when we, we started out with, you know, Shinola, Stock X, you start to see these companies that you really didn't have a chance to like, if you weren't a student athlete or if you weren't part of Michigan State, you know, you, you probably wouldn't be able to just walk off the street and walk in there and do this tour, right? And learn the, you know, what who they're all about. Um, Zenith was a good meeting. I brought up Choo Choo. They was like, who's Choo Choo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, you gonna make you mad. But you talk, about, you talk about Zenith and like, you just understand like, their majority, women are building those helmets, right? Like majority in the, the, the warehouse, it started from a small knit, um, you know, group that's a small mom and pop shop, then it's now big, right? And so the gym help, GM headquarters was, the, I think the best one for me, um, knowing that Buick is a partner for Michigan State, has been for 40 years. And then now we have the GMT line. You're able to see how obviously cars in America have been, have, have, has, have evolved. And so our student athletes had a great time being able to ask questions. Um, you know, there was just some some interesting things that, you know, questions in like advertising majors. You have, you know, uh, who was it? What Trey, Trey Mosley was was talk, asking questions. You had Dylan Tatum, who I forgot to know is Dylan Tatum's a character, fellas. Like we got to get Dylan back yeah. on because that yeah, guy has yeah. a. He's 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 his own Love show, him. man. Like that dude, Love yeah. And you can tell that's a DB at heart, baby, because just talk, 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 trash. So, um, but it was a good visit where a lot of our student athletes like just appreciative and saying like, man, I, I I've I've never been to Detroit. Like we have student athletes who have never stepped foot in Detroit. Um, and so when you see that now, it's like getting them exposed to where you don't you graduate, you don't have to leave, man. We got a major city market right here. And uh, now we have the draft. I'm looking forward to that NFL draft. Um, it's just a good tour for us. And now, now we're going to be doing this year, year in, year out. Um, I, I believe the next step is uh, next stop is Chicago. Uh, so we're going to get people set up there and corporate partners. You know, Playfly has a, a spot there in Chicago with our home team sports crew and our um, premiere. So it's going to be real good, man. I got to figure out we're going to go to Cubs or the White Sox. I got to figure out which one. So Oh, boy. Yeah, Don't it's going to be. I know. <laughs> They'll lose it. <laughs> well, right. Tima, I know where he wants to go. Oh, you know? and, and yeah. Wendy, she wants to go the other way. Hey, hey listen, that, that that was awesome, man. You know, you're talking about like that experience. That's yeah. like uncanny to be able to go and see all those things as a student athlete. And what you know, hats off to what uh, everybody, what you guys were doing in the EXP program. That, that, that's that's outstanding. We have a guest that was has a major in media and information. You know, we're going to talk a little bit about that stuff. So. We can get a hey, a real quick, quick, Trey. Real quick, yeah. Tony, Tony Knuckles, Tony, Tony Knuckles, bro. Like, when if you don't Nicole's know Tony Knuckles, Nicole's yeah. twin, if you don't know Tony, that man is one of the smoothest operators you probably will ever meet. And he <laughs> is been with he's been with that company since he got out of college. But the game he gave the student athletes was something that you should not be able to get if you just, like I said, walk on the street. So um, those are the things where we start to align former alums with current student athletes. And it's a mentor mentee ship. Ju made an appearance. It was good networking event. He, you know, he, I don't know why he's quiet right now. He start, he kicked it off with him and Tony Grant 
<laughs> for the networking event. He's out here quiet like he wasn't part of the tour. So oh, no, it was it was good. I mean, it was it was really good. Uh, you know, you talked about uh, networking. The, the athletes were going out of the way. You know, going and talking to different people. Um, it was an absolutely great event, great program. I'm glad I got to be there for that one day of it. Catch up to some of the guys. Um, really cool event. But something I'm just like getting over we're just all going to ignore harriet comment here she says she has a ps5 call of duty black ops that she'd be playing <laughs> harriet yeah. black ops yeah. going over we're going over Come on, we're, harriet. Just we're, gonna ignore, we're just gonna ignore the... <laughs> oh look here i got a i got a i got an eighth grader he's at home maybe we can connect because he he's crazy with that <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, Dreamcast. Y'all play that? Is that? What games do y'all play besides, you know, college football and Madden? I don't play video games anymore. Okay. Well, I was a Grand Theft Auto for sure. Ooh. I mean, I'm out here riding now. I'm trying to get a GTA. GTA, baby. I'm, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm all over all board, but let's get to let's get to that commercial right here. Come on, AJ Stray. Go ahead and get it. Let's listen to this message from our friends over at iHop. <laughs> Introducing IHOP's new Eggs Benedicts. When you take a poached egg, add it to a crispy English muffin, fire roasted poblano peppers, and shredded beef with our rich and buttery hollandaise sauce. You don't just get our handcrafted new Eggs Benedicts on your plate, you get a smile on your plate. New Eggs Benedicts in four delicious flavors, only from IHOP. Without further ado, let us invite former Spartan Dog, always Spartan Dog, former Michigan State cornerback and current cornerback for the Michigan Panthers. That's Josh Butler. Joins this is Sparta. How you doing, Josh? Hey, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Good, brother. How you doing? Man, I'm doing great. Blessed. Oh, yeah. Man. Hey, Choo Choo's hey, calling look. games every day. Listen, man, he's been talking you up for the last, like, month now. He's <laughs> talking about how you playing out there. He's getting that bird's eye view. So I'm we want to talk to you. This guy, I told, I told him from the beginning, like, one, we'll get into it, but a very interesting story on how you even became – you know, a Panther, how he even got to, you know, Michigan and your your uh, passion for the game of football and, you know, how it showed and everything like that. But I just like very, very been impressed. And I've telling Otis, Otis played in the secondary. He knows that's a tough place, especially playing a corner position. That's an island. That is tough, tough, tough thing to do. And this guy here, number 23 for the Michigan Panthers, has been next coach. And then Coach Haynes had came in after that. Man, look, Coach, this is a small world. Coach Haynes is my recruiting coach. <laughs> and, then, and then he did. I kid you not. He came, in, just came to my school and was like, hey, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to Ohio State. He'd be like, Bro, this is my fourth recruiting coach, right? But, you know, talk about just the standpoint of, like, your your your, your skills. When you line up mano a mano, man, like, what is going through your mind on – obviously, we know coverages, but, like, what's going through your mind – when you're covering that 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 receiver, well, everything is like pretty much before I even get to the game. So I study film. That's that's the main thing. You got to be educated and knowing who you're going against. Um, just studying film, see how they go against other DBs. Because sometimes you know playing DB, you got the same similar style. See what they do versus him. Um, and then the first thing is to actually get in front of them. Once you get in front of them, see what they do. You know, majority of the time. Most most teams run the ball first play, but the receiver always come off fresh and they do something off the line. Um, so I try to see what they'll do off the line. That way I know what type of player I'm going against the entire game. Um, and I know for the USFL, sometimes they it's not always the same receiver, so I have to study literally every single receiver and what they do and what they do versus press, what they do versus off, um, where they align, stuff like that. You know, just really breaking it down to a T, how they run, how they how they come out they breaks you know just everything just studying all all of that watching the hips um inside routes outside routes how they run it you know just breaking every literally every single detail down uh right before i get to the game so i'll be prepared you know really have to overthink because you know you overthink that's when you start messing up and yeah. you don't get no plays but other than that that's how i do it 
<laughs> that, that is, uh, you know, that that is uh, something. So let's take it back to um, you're a guy from Dallas, you know, came to Michigan State. What attracted you to Michigan State? And Otis is going to, first of all, uh, before I even, Otis is going to love you. You play DB. You're from, <laughs> you even like walked through the state of Texas. Otis is going to claim you, you know, if you, if you, if you flew over Texas, oh my specifically God. if you had a, a, a layover in Dallas, he's going to claim Canadian you. So. <laughs> he's a Canadian and anybody. Fired. So, so what, what, what attracted you to Michigan State? Oh, uh, well, you know, they was doing really, really good. Um, 2013, 2014 year. That was the time I was around the junior and the senior and everything. And they, it was uh my like I believe my seventh offer. And um, I actually took a visit. I took the bus. I took the Greyhound bus to get up there, um, for my first visit. Uh, took like 49 hours. It took a it took a long hey, time. Pa, pa, hey, pause right there. Pause yeah, right. Pause pause right, right hours, there. Yeah, it, it took a, it took pause a long right time. There. Was this an unofficial visit? I believe so. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was on the time. iron dog, bro. Yeah. How many hey, stops? How many hey, stops? Look, we stopped. Oh my god, we stopped at <laughs> places. I know. I met Amish people in Tennessee. I was like, I, <laughs> I was all over the place. Uh, literally, so 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 many different places, and I, you know, I just was able to travel, met a lot of different people, and this at the time I was like. I was like 160 something. I was talking to this lady. I was like, yeah, I play football. I'm going up to to go play uh for for the Michigan State. Or you know, just visit for Michigan State. And she was like, Well, you kind of small, ain't it? It's the Big Ten. I was like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was like 160. I was skinny. I was skinny. It was but it was fun. It was fun though, just being able to just get on there and uh, you know, just see see the world. Cause uh before that, I really didn't go nowhere. I was always in Texas. Other than that, I've only been to like Louisiana or Miami, but I was like a kid. But to do that on my own when I'm like 17 or 18 and uh, just to see everything, I was literally just by myself. My cousins had stopped in Tennessee and I just kept on going all the way up. But it was, it was, it was great. You know? Wow. Man, that's like when you get there, I just feel like the stress of that, like you get back, get to East Lansing. And then you gotta make that trip back now. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, after having this great experience, but did the, you did the coaches coach know? Me. Did the coaches know you were taking the Greyhound? Uh huh. Yeah, they they did. Yeah, I I had told them um, when I was when I was planning on visiting. I had told them, like, yeah, I'm gonna just take the bus up. And that's how I look. That's how we get afford. We gotta we gotta do what you gotta do. That's how we, I was raised. You gotta do what you gotta do. It don't matter how you get there, as long as you get there. Yeah. Right. Man, oh. tell these kids that right meow, Josh. Like, hey, these kids <laughs> you gotta make it happen. You got a five star D lineman that's traveling up like like taking the Greyhound. Like today, that it's it's a different world today than it was when you played and that. It wasn't that long ago, Josh. Like, what are you thinking about today's college athlete? Seeing that story right there, just alone. Like, what do you think about what's going on today with college with NIL and the transfer portal and everything? Must be nice because I wish we had, <laughs> I wish we had that. <laughs> oh, it's crazy because they gonna do it as soon as literally the next year after we leave, they get that. I was like, bro, because we heard we heard rumors about it uh in like 2019. The the dudes from Northwestern and everything they was talking about it. And we was I was hoping we was gonna get it for the 2019 year. Um, but they they was waiting, 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 and then Boom, and that hit in 2020. I was like, bro, they would do this after we graduate. Like, come <laughs> on, man. Like, you, I, know, you we talked about this too, Josh. Like, your dogs, your dogs, just your dogs, your your boys got the basically your nil deal, and you was able to be able to like be there. But like, talk about that pet co partnership because Rock, Roxy like, and Remy, Roxy and Remy. Yeah, show like, the video. Show the video for the people. Oh, listen. Yeah, just push that video. Let's go. Jackson, safety, number 32, Corey Pryor. With his dogs, Roxy and Rooney, from Mesquite, Texas, the Ultra Pack. <laughs> hey, what coach do you say to you? What coach do you say to you? Remember? 
Hey, I had to catch co- I had to catch Coach D on a good day. I'm not gonna even lie. <laughs> I had to catch- you, know, you know, y'all know him, man. He, he usually grumpy yeah. all the time. But uh, how how every how that even happened? <laughs> how that even happened? He was he was um it was in August because some somebody had asked like, on Twitter. They asked about me if I was gonna bring them to signing day, and luckily he was in a great mood that day too. You know what I'm saying? And while we was at signing day, they asked, they was like, oh, uh, are, you, are they going to be with you on, like, seeing day and stuff, too? I was like, I don't know. Let me ask why he in a good mood. And he said we'll figure it out that day because, you know, it was seeing night. It was way in December. It was August at the time. He's like, yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, I thought he completely forgot about it. When it came around December time, he just, you know, just asked me a few questions. Was they good around other people? Stuff like that, blah, blah, whatever. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, hey. I was like, yeah, they, they, they good, they cool. Um, they've been in, the, you know, they've been in the football building and stuff all the time. They've been with me in class, everything. And he was like, all right, cool, we'll make it happen. And then the day of, he, he made, we made it happen. So I was like, hey, you never know. You just gotta ask, but you gotta ask when you're in a good mood. He in a good mood. He gonna say, yeah, pretty much anything. Josh. I would have been. Yeah, so she's the one that would say yeah to you anytime. Listen, <laughs> you're a great player, and, and like, tell tell a story about Roxy and Remy, like where they come from. Like, cause I know you adopted them, right? I got well, t- kind of. Um, so I got Roxy first in 2017 after we beat the breaks off Michigan, of course. Um, <laughs> so my my homeboy, he his dog ended up having like puppies, and they were just looking for homes, you know, places and good homes to find. For the for the dogs, uh, he ended up keeping one. His sister kept one, and then his other sister kept another one. They just had like uh, Roxy. She didn't even have a name yet, but um, they had Roxy. And I was like, I don't do I don't do nothing. You know, so I was I, I ain't really go out. I don't, I don't do nothing. I was uh, about to be a junior at the time. I was like, you know what? I take I take a dog. <laughs> I, I got her. I got a. She was crazy when I first got her. She was like what probably about eight weeks, about two months. That two month age so you know they was hyper and everything i was just basically trying to figure out how to raise a dog with with my schedule and my football schedule but you know it worked out for the better um i also had like three other roommates and stuff too you know they'll help out here and there but she was uh, always my dog so i got her first and you know we got on, on a really good really good schedule and then um around march of 2019 that's when i got remy which is they, they came from the same the same litter because they had more puppies so I got Remy, and the only reason I got her is because I ended up getting into my master's program, and my master's program took literally all of my time, so I wasn't able to do like the stuff I used to do with her, and um, do like training and uh, be able to take her outside, and you know, dogs need energy and stuff like that too. So I was like, All right, cool, we just gonna we just gonna get you another dog to play with, <laughs> and yeah, you know, I went to like the humane societies and stuff like that, but you know, a lot of dogs weren't ready to be partnering and paired with like families or other dogs and stuff. So when I heard they was having more puppies, I was like, I would take another one gladly. I'll take another gladly. Cause by this time Roxy was, you know, fully trained and stuff. Then she was good. She was a good dog. So I was like, all right, why not get the same bloodline and go ahead and get uh, another dog. Man, I wish we had that video. Like there was one, you do a lot of uh, social content, but, you, know, as well, mm. like, you know, sizzle reels and everything, but it was that one video, man. You was in the apartment complex in the hall, in the, in the hall and he basically was like, basically asked him, you think you're faster than me? All right, let's, let's, <laughs> like, let's, let, let's go. And you like, oh, you marked the set? And y'all just start dipping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, man. We, oh, this, it's, it's kind of crazy because, you know, we just be bored. And, you know, it's just any any type of little video that we made or created, um, man, it was just, I'll just do it at like 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning, too. You know, about to leave, go go work out or something. I just, you know, all right, let me just do this video. I didn't get it from nowhere, and just started doing it. Um, I was actually doing them at Michigan State too. A lot, a lot of people that I stayed and lived with, they was actually cool. You know, they they actually come outside and watch them run up and down the hallway and stuff too, and have fun. So that's how it it all really started for real. So I just kept doing it, and one video finally had blew up. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Josh, you, you, we know you love the game of football. You took that, you know, Greyhound bus ride to East Lansing for the love of the game of football. You know, you had your senior day, you said, you know, you were gone, you graduated from Michigan state. Um, you got your masters. 
And then you're like, okay, I'm going to go play at the next level. But after that, then COVID hit. So they canceled pro days. They canceled the combines. And, you know, guys like yourself didn't get the opportunity to showcase the, their talents for NFL teams. You know, what was that like, you know, that unknown a little bit? What was that like? Yeah, um, it was definitely a hard challenge because, you know, our whole life we prepared to do stuff for like football and everything. And, you know, I always have other interests outside of football, but I wasn't thinking I was going to automatically jump into it right then and there. So uh, when it did happen, you know, COVID, COVID lasted for a long time. And there was no really no updates from, from like teams or anything. Um, there were no camp invites, nothing. We literally had nothing for, for the class of 2020. And so it was just trying to figure out what I was going to do next. And so I started started doing some outreach, started reaching out to people um, from from my from my master's program, and I asked my academic advisors, "That's what they're there for." So I asked them uh, <laughs> if, if for help, and uh, they I got on LinkedIn. I started reaching out to people, networking, um, making making and building connections, and I, I made sure I reached out to them at least two or three times a week, uh, every every single day, get their information, their emails, their number, whatever I needed. And I made connections in, you know, like New York, Atlanta, and then in L.A. And majority of my connections came from L.A. So I just made a decision to finally pack up and go out to L.A. and start pursuing, like, uh, entertainment and television and production. Um, and I moved out there in August of 2020. And then I've, I'm still currently out there. But, you know, I'm obviously back here in Michigan right now uh, playing football for the Michigan Panthers. But since I was being out there, I did a, a lot of work, a lot of stuff in production, met a lot of celebrities in the music industry, um, did a lot of acting stuff, all American, and a bunch of a bunch of commercials, a whole lot of them. Um, but it was really fun. I did a Fox Four commercial um, with Reggie Bush and everything too, so that was that was pretty cool. I, I played like a, a Clemson coach in that, and um, you know, it's just been a really great experience being able to do that because I never thought I would. I'll actually be able to do it. I, I wanted to be the guy with the camera. I ended up being in front of the camera. Um, so it, it just took me a long time to realize, like, just because one door closes, there's other plenty of opportunities. But I always made sure I stayed in shape just in, just in case, because I know there was the spring league um, going on, and then they did say they was bringing the XFL stuff back. And so I always stayed ready and stayed in shape, and I was making sure I do some football-related, make sure I post something, me, me working out or – whatever it may be, just in case I do get that call. And they'll be like, is he focused on football or is he focused on this? So I just made sure I put out videos of me working out and stuff like that too. Talk about that, Josh. You know, you, you just said that right there. Now, you, you're you working in another industry. You're working in the media world, like trying to get your name out there, doing you know shows and all that. But at the same time, you're trying to show potential football suitors that you're in shape to do to play football. What kind of workouts were you doing? Like, what were you doing in LA in order to stay ready? You know, and, and all the while you're you're making a living on the uh, the media side. Uh, pretty much mostly conditioning and agility drills. Everything that I learned from Coach Guest, and I took those. He gave me he gave me literally everything we was already planning on to do at Pro Day. I already had like a, a Monday through Saturday schedule and I just kept on that same program, kept with my speed stuff, kept up with my lifting, kept up with my uh, my nutrition. So I would be the same weight and the same thing from when I was playing, make sure I ain't gain no more or no less than what I was. Um, I just pretty much stuck to that. And so I, you know, I, I also got my dogs and stuff with me. So days I ain't feel like running, we'll just go outside and do it anyway. Um, so I just made sure I did stuff like that all the time, worked on my starts and, you know, got my 40 down, uh, to like a four, three, two. That was the last thing I, I ran, uh, most recently. And just, you know, just, like I said, just staying on top of it is just self-discipline and, you know, just having that faith. And uh, I know it was a lot of guys who was actually getting into different leagues and stuff. I'm like, all right, if they can do it, you know, I can do it too, you know? And I'll reach out to people, uh, GMs and stuff like that. But, you know, luckily... I did the spring league for like a couple of games in 2021. I got picked up in there like um, literally like the last three games. But that one, I don't think that was enough film for me to actually continue. So in 2022, we did the um, MLFB stuff and that got completely canceled. It had something to do with funding. And now it's 2023 and I'm with, you know, the Michigan Panthers now. 
Yeah, so that uh, story, once again, you know, to get to Michigan State, you took that long drive. Uh, so to get to the Michigan Panthers now, because when I went out to, you know, covering the team, going out to practice and, you know, the the GM for the Panthers there, Steve, he's like, this Butler, he's a dedicated kid. You know, I was like, well, what you mean? He was like, oh, you ask him how he got here. So apparently they called you at three in the morning, L.A. time uh, mm -hmm. to to uh, to. Hey, we want to sign you. And you jumped in your truck with your dogs and drove from from uh, from L.A. to uh, East Lansing to drop your dog. Is that is that right? Tell that story. Yeah, I so did. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I was, it was crazy because I was up. I was up at 3 a.m. In, in Cali. I was uh, I was doing some stuff. Yeah. I was just up doing some stuff and I decided to like, you know, uh, write my prayers down and I was just talking about, you know, my goals and, and stuff. I already had my goals and like my vision, my little vision board and stuff on my wall. And every time I achieve something, I'll take one from, from there and move it to the other side uh, of achievements. So I was already, you know, just making sure I was on top of it. Um, and then next thing you know, as I'm getting getting ready for bed, I get I get a text from 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 Steve. He was like, "Oh, can you send me your 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 tape and stuff like that?" I already had my stuff ready. It was already in my notes, so I copied and pasted and sent it less than less than literally less than thirty seconds. I was not playing. Um, and then and then like uh, three hours later, he called me. He was like, "Yeah, we're gonna send you a, we're gonna send you a contract, uh, and we want to sign you." I said, "All right, cool." As soon as I got that contract, as soon as I signed it, I called him back. I said, is there anything else that, you, that I need or need uh, or that you need? Because, you know, I was going to, you know, leave my, my important stuff at the crib. Um, so I was like, all right, is there anything else that like you need, like important documents, whatever it may be? He was like, no, nah, that's all good. Uh, we just asked, when can I be there? I said, I'm going to leave right now. I got in my truck. <laughs> <laughs> I got in my truck. I packed up. I packed up two bags and then my whatever my dog needed. Uh, and then we just took off. I stopped in Vegas and then stopped in Colorado and then finished it from Colorado. And that was that was it. You know, I was determined. I like I said, I've been it was, I've been waiting on that moment. I was not gonna let that opportunity miss me. I promise y'all wouldn't. <laughs> Man, wait, wait, Josh, did I did I hear you say though? Did I hear you say four, three, two? Yeah. Is that what you ran before the end right now? Mm -hmm. mm. Hey, listen, youngsters, to this right here. You know, you have dreams. Dream big. That's what Coach Antonio used to always start talk about. Dreaming big, but put that work in too. You know, four, three, two. Look, look. That'll get you some looks. And and from what we're seeing on film now, as you playing with the Michigan Panthers and Choo Choo commentating those games. Man, it looks like you're gonna you you're probably gonna get a shot. Is that something that's a goal for you to get to the NFL, hopefully? Yeah, that's always been the that's always been the goal. Um, ever since I was a kid, there's always been the dream to be able to make it there. And you know, I'm, I know once I get there, I'm gonna be there for a while, type of type of mentality. And uh a lot of what a lot of people don't really care, your your mental and your physical health. That's going that's what's gonna make you last a lot longer. The 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 more you're able to to consistently play at a high speed level and have your body healthy because you know you can't do nothing if you're not available so you gotta you gotta make sure you're taking care of yourself at all times so hey, um impeccable before you impeccable hook swap my brother which you already know that hook swap <laughs> boy pbus <laughs> hey we look if we don't go get that that interception we go get a nice hook and swap my brother so look you got that down to a t I told you, boys. Um, I told you this kid's ball. He's gonna get a camp invite. <laughs> um, Josh. So you know, talk about the the Panthers. Now you're here. Um, you know, you guys. You know, started off hot. You know, two and zero. Come back home. Hit a little speed bump yet, but there's still plenty of season left. And uh, what can you know? Be, but you know, this Michigan fan base has really embraced the Panthers coming back to Detroit and back to the state of Michigan. What? Um, you know, tell us about the team, you know, because and also, too, while you're talking about that, like talk about what this league means to guys like you for getting a second chance, you know, to showcase your talents for this camp invite and all that stuff. Yeah. So with the team, I honestly have a lot of fun, a lot of chemistry with with the, my, my defensive players that I've been playing with. And it's been a lot of fun um, playing with them because 
they come from a whole bunch of different backgrounds. They came from uh, NFL teams and stuff like that. And so just watching them play and uh, them believing in me and I'm believing in them, and we all could come together and communicate um, really, really well. We do a lot of communication um, on and off the field. So I think that chemistry alone is also helping our defense bond really well. And uh, with the season, the season is wide open in the North. Everybody two or three. Right. <laughs> Everybody. So it's crazy. It's crazy because uh, the South is also pretty much like that too. Uh, but the Breakers are still uh, uh, leading right now. But it's, it's wide open with it being halfway there. And everybody has a really good chance of either becoming the one or two spot in the North to make it to the to playoffs. And so that's the that's the main goal. We gotta we gotta beat out everybody in our division in order to secure that spot. Um, but you know we gotta take it one one game at a time. And the main thing, like I said, uh, we had we had that that fire, that energy. The first two games we came out, we just got to get that back and stop. Um, you know, stop putting ourselves down more than anything. Other than that, we just got to keep playing ball and you know get some momentum on both offense and defense. Create more turnovers. On the defensive side, we got to see more of those. Uh, that's uh, that's our main goal to be able to have ball disruption because you know that that also helps the offense out a lot to be able to have them in good good field position. Um, anytime we do something great, they they can capitalize off of that. That's always how how it is. So you know we build off of one another. They go down and score touchdowns. We get a three and out. You know type of type of thing. So we just building off each other. Everybody has a really good chemistry. Um, we got to see how to come back out with that fire and stuff like we did our first two games. And I, I, I have a really good feeling we'll, we'll finish out on top. Nice. And, uh, you know, you got Mike Nolan, the head coach. He was a, a great defensive mastermind in the NFL, uh, NFL head coach. Now he's coaching you. What does he say, you know, to you, you know, that gives you, you know, for the next level and everything like that? What, what, what's conversations like that, Ben? I like Coach Nolan. He he's a, a a player's coach. So you know whatever we we feel is like best or what we want to go with, he was like, all right, let's do it then. You know what I'm saying? So he gives us that, that confidence in us um, to be able to execute plays and stuff like that too. Um, but as far as him, like you know, just talking to talking to people, he just to making sure that we stay uh, good with our technique and stuff like that. He was like, how's how's things going? Um, just making sure we're we are being sharp. Um, so when we're doing film study and stuff, we do everything to to make it perfect. So say, for instance, in, in film, um, I'm guarding somebody and then I like knocking down. It's like, I'll make, make, next time, make it a pick type of type of type of mentality. You know, just always getting one step closer to being better. You know, Josh, talk about I know we, uh, we, we got like probably a little bit time to wrap up but question on letting spartan nation know but also players know um the day in the life of what you do now with the michigan panthers like kind of take us in there what, like what is a week weekday or daily and weekly schedule for for you as you're competing um in this league uh so i'll give you i'll give you just a day i'll give you a, probably like a uh tuesday or something like that that's when we have full pad day so usually i wake up around 7 30 start my day off um I stretch and stuff like that just to get my body stuff loose. And we have uh, treatments and stuff at like eight. So I do that regardless if I'm hurt or not. I just, just do it just because, just you, like I said, stay healthy. And we'll have meetings around like nine-ish. And we'll have meetings until around 11. And then we have a few few minutes to make it over to the stadium. And we start practice around 12. Practice for like a good two hours, um, real intense type of practice, full speed. We're running around, everybody's flying around. Um, and then after that, we'll, we sometimes we'll lift, sometimes we won't, but we'll have meetings after and we'll watch uh, more, just more film. It's, you know, everything is film study, everything is what you do off the field. And after that, um, what time I get home? Around five or so, like that. And I'll do everything I have to do within my personal life, whether it's just social media or doing work. Um, stuff that's in California, um, you know, cause I stay on top of that always just, just so I don't have to mess up that any connections I've already built. Um, so I, I do all those and then, uh, I do a lot of recovery stuff here at home and I'll just be chilling for the next couple of hours just to time to relax and have to myself. And, you know, I try to make sure I go to sleep by 11, not, not stay up too, too long. 
um, and just, you know, start the, start the next day over again. Man, 11 o'clock. <laughs> right. Uh, real yeah. quick, you know, you're in, you're in the show All American. Um, how was how was that like? And what, what do you like better? Do you like the commercials or you like the TV or you want to get into movies? And because uh, I, I watch all the All Americans, I need to go back now and see where where, where were you in that? Is it a locker room season? Yeah. One of the locker room scenes? Season. Yeah, I was in a, a few a few scenes, uh, but season three, I'm in season three uh, mm -hmm. a lot. Um, yeah, rather it's on a football field or me uh, being a football player, but I, I did a lot of production stuff for for All American too. They helped me. I was a PA with them doing a lot of production stuff as well. So times where I wasn't on camera, I was behind the camera. Um, but it was it was a great experience. Believe it or not, there is a guy who who went to MSU, and I was when I was doing uh, you know just reaching out doing stuff through LA casting. And I got in contact with him, so I just told him a little bit about myself because you know they be asking like uh, football experience and stuff like that. And as soon as he seen Michigan State on there, that's why I got him. As I said, Spartans be looking for it, looking out for one another. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, that's cool. Uh, we are gonna bring you in and stuff like that. And that's how I ended up getting that opportunity. Um, so you know, grateful for anybody that that went to Michigan State. You know, they always they always look out for cheap people. We everywhere. I'm not gonna lie. I, every pay, every yeah. place I've been. And I, I wear like a something green. And I heard go green from somewhere. I'm like, dang, we all over the place. I'm in the I'm in the middle of Nebraska. Like, what, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? No, it's <laughs> real. Yeah, a ton of Spartans out in California too. You know, so I mean, that's that's it's awesome. And in Hollywood, man, like, hey, Josh, it's it's awesome to have you on the show and hear your story, man, like, and what's going on with you. How how can anybody? do anything but root for you. I mean, you you one of those guys, man. Like, you know, like you're not only a dog, but you are a person that, that like embodies what it means to be an athlete and just perseverance, brother. And we appreciate you and, and I honor you, honestly, myself. And I'm sure the fellows would join me in that one. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Appreciate yeah. you. Appreciate you taking the time to, uh, you know, jump on the show for us there, Josh, and uh, get that get those Panthers right, boy. Get them right. We're back home this week. We're back home for another field. home game. Another, another yeah. one. Another home, one. Home game. Four in a row. Yeah. Yeah. We got we got to win this one. We got to. Hey, Sport Nation, you need to go and support. Buy yeah. A Choo Choo okay. got access to tickets now. Choo Choo got you it all. Man. Ticket, I'll get you a ticket. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> it, there it, it is. is. Four p.m. Hey, four p.m. Send, send a DMs over, you know, on uh, all our social media platforms. We'll get it to Choo Choo so that he can get you guys the tickets that you deserve because you got to go there and support Josh. That's the big thing. Josh, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. I mean, we'd love to have you on again. Uh, you look, I got a sneak of suspicion. This guy, he gonna be, he gonna be in the league. We gotta get him on the deal before he gets too big. And yeah, then, uh, right, 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 right. 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 Through his agent to get to him, you know. <laughs> this guy, he's, 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 Don't get the big head, head John. Don't get that big head. <laughs> we are gonna have that to be like funny, getting, getting a hold of his people. <laughs> I know, but uh, Josh, what, what it comes to you always say, you probably know, pride comes before the fall. He always said that to y'all, or that was just us. He probably only said yeah, that to y'all. You a little bit older. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's older. They changed. They changed. I know. It changed. It changed. I know it changed. Yeah. Josh, appreciate man, appreciate you. you. Thank you for coming on, Mr. Sparta. Look, we'd love to have you back on the show sometime soon. And look, best of luck in the next season. Right. The next week, this week. This best week. of luck this week. Saturday. I don't like. I don't even. It's hard to and say. That pick spring. six, dog. That's where we at. That's where we at. In spring. Pick That's six, Josh. I'm, I'm claiming it for you, dog. I'm envisioning it. Pick six to the crib. I've been envisioning it the all crib, week. Man. I promise you. <laughs> all week. Hey, I've been waiting. Give me, give me something to talk about, because on the on the on the show, I I said Josh Butler is him. <laughs> you got to do it. Do it. Do it for Choo Choo. But we love you, man. Thank you for coming on the show. <laughs> Appreciate you. Guys, we'll talk to you soon. And, and guys, look, look, look. Phenomenal. Once again, you got a guy, Josh Butler. How can you, the guy loves dogs. Man. Right? Yeah. And I know, I know you guys are major dog guys. 
<laughs> have we had a bad interview? I don't think no. we've had a bad interview. You know, it, but I feel well, like would you admit it if we did? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Me, we, we Absolutely. just like we like, yeah. <laughs> Yes, we but no, I think I think the story the story of like that man has persevered and been persistent, and I I just feel like that's what a dog is, man. That's what Spartans all about, man. It's you get the job done, man. You do what it takes, and you, you know, know what? One, he 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 said, he what blue vase it, blue vase it, blue vase it. Yeah, they I, look. I don't know if they. I don't know if they. He sold in that video. He, I don't, Man, I don't think about that. Look, that's when back in the days, Trey, you know, the, the, when phone books were, you didn't know you had to pay phones. You didn't have cell phones. And I have that you video. Have, you do? We got to show it. He's, he sent it to he me. Sent it to you? Yeah. Ooh, you, showed your, you showed your high school team, right? You did, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> You're still in all of it. But no, nah, man, Josh, Josh is a guy that uh, I've always followed him uh, when he was playing, obviously, when I was a fundraiser. Um, he was, I want to say he was a freshman then, uh, but then going to Dallas, I always rooted for him because obviously he was from Dallas, Dallas. Um, but he, when he started, like he came on the scene where he came in and he just started making plays, like and he get name call, come on the field. And then he started locking down. And I think that was the mentality of like, you know, this guy was giving his all and was putting the team on his back and was doing whatever was best for the team, but also. Um, Josh brings Josh, man. You just, when you meet him, you know he's a guy that um, you get you get all of Josh, and that's the best part about who he is, man. I I, I wish nothing but and pray for it, nothing but success for that man because he's been he he deserves it because he's earned it. And so uh, I'm make your way to Detroit Fourth Field, man. Go ahead and go to Fourth Field and get support because uh, he's he's going he's going to do some big things. Man. I mean. That says it all right there, Johnny Costanza. What's that, what'd that say? I, I love Josh and MSU and really loved him after this interview. Great job. Listen, Chew, you see the guy. You see him every weekend. You got anything else to say before we wrap this up? No, man. You know, it said it all. You know, I love his his dedication to the game. Love his uh, dedicate. You know, to everything that he does in life. He does it full speed. You know, uh, he does it with passion, and he does. And and one thing that stuck out to me, he talked about his vision board, praying for things, taking it off here, and moving it to the next side there, moving along with that. And that's that's how you really see progress in your goals and everything like that. You know, shout out to Josh, shout out to you straight, shout out to Otis, you know, uh, great questions, great interview, great show today. And thank you to everyone that, that tuned in to listen, you know, Hey, we, like I always say, we can't do this without our, this is Sparta, uh, MSU, uh, you know, family. army, uh, army yeah. and family, you know, that that's behind us here. So really appreciate everybody. And, uh, Miss Raven continue to tune in to us. Yes, don't forget that. De definitely don't forget that. No love loss here. And you, you always know, have you seven. always have a spot in on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Miss Raven. You always have a, a, a spot with us here. And, and Gregory's and Rick's and wherever else. Wherever yeah. she, oh, she got carte blanche. <laughs> okay. You, you, give, oh, you gotta give her the passes you got. I, I get that rich VIP give card. Her. That's what we're going to do. No, man, man, special thanks to, to, to Josh Butler for coming on the show and, and talking um, and sharing his life with us. That was awesome. And, you know, and for Otis Wiley, J.U. Coker, I'm Jason Strayhorn. This is Sparta MSU. Have a good night. God bless. Go green. Go white. Go white. This is Sparta MSU as a combined presentation of Playfly Sports Properties and Michigan State Sports Properties. The show is produced by Pete Menez with additional support from Tony Costella. Operations and social media support is provided by Alicia Strayhorn with support from Cecily Max Brown. On location technical support is provided by Good Fruit Video. Be sure to follow our hosts, Jason Strayhorn, J.U. Kulkrick, and Otis Wiley on social media. To stay up to date with all the latest, this is Sparta News. Please like and subscribe by visiting our link tree and tell a friend to do the same. Thank you for your support, and as always, go green.